Howdy guys, I'm back with more Mass Effect 2. Last time I caught up on some more of my squad dialogue, and I went and did one of my many, many side assignments, and today is going to be more of the same. So I'm going to get started by talking to Justicar Samara here. Let's talk. Stop glowing. Stop it. Shepard, I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. Alright, so I don't have a whole lot of options here. Tell me about Justicars. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. Silence. Oh, she tells me to sit down. It's going to be a long story. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. Wow, really? Are Justicars that few? They make, she kind of makes it sound like Justicars are like adventurers or something, you know? So uh, let's investigate them. The rarity, yeah, I'd like to know about the rarity. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Hmm, so... Uh, I, think, I think it definitely takes a certain kind of person to be able to live that kind of life, you know? The adventure sounds appealing, and, you know, I think a lot of people might get the idea of enjoying that for maybe like two or three weeks but then they'd want to go back to the real world where you have like a bed and internet and an easy to access food and and people not trying to kill you and and whatnot so it takes a very certain kind of person um, somewhat related, when I went to Nepal, they kind of had, they're not quite like Justicars here, I don't think, but uh, they talked about some holy men that would, um, you know, get rid of all of their earthly possessions and just, well, they just looked like they were hanging out in uh, Pashaputnath, which was one of the temples I visited, so... Maybe some. Uh, I don't. They weren't really any danger of dying or anything, though. You know, they were just hanging out. So not quite like a Justicar, but there are people that can cast away everything, right? It's pretty crazy. Well, Shepard seems to think it sounds terrible, though. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. So, it's a deeply personal matter, so basically anyone that becomes a Justicar, it's like, I guess they just have a very deep reason. Alright, so I'm, I'm curious about this conflicting opinions ab about the Justicar, so let's find out about that. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of grey everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many. But I would kill all of them if I had to. That really makes a lot of sense to me, and I don't know if I could really wrap my mind around that. You know, that's really how things are. Black and white, no gray area. You know, I mean, I um, read a story today, a woman that had worked at a fast... Well, it was at uh, Tim Hortons, a donut uh, and coffee shop. She worked there for, I think it said, two years. She got fired for giving a timbit, which is a donut hole that call, that's worth about 16 cents to a baby. It was considered theft and she was fired very black and white, but for me, I definitely say that's a gray area. I can't wrap my mind around seeing the world black and white, I just can't. Which brings us to the code. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Five thousand sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. Gosh, I'd like to see the um, <laughs> the codex on that one. You know, maybe just a couple of the sutras. Anyway, is the code flexible? I think I know the answer to that. No. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. Oh. 
Okay, well, I mean, that pretty much makes sense. It's to punish the wicked and... Oh, man, that's... But just like the example I just gave, you know, the woman gave... I mean, obviously this is an ex not, not an extreme, but, you know, the woman gave a baby that was upset or crying or something a little tiny donut hole. And it's like... Really, that we're really trying to protect the big giant corporation. You know, there's a Tim Hortons every you know two two blocks basically, and protect ah whatever. So how do you see Justicars? What role do you think Justicars have in a sorry society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. Oh my goodness, that's... Well, that's interesting. I like that she... She seems very worldly to know about our culture, though, huh? Alright, yeah, knowledge of humans, since I just mentioned that. You know about knights errant and samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. Wow. That's amazing. Man, it must be great to have all that time to learn all that kind of stuff. I love it. So what do you think of humans? What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. <laughs> I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. That is very much the case. Yes, yes, that, I think that sums up humans pretty darn well. Not that that's a bad thing, you know, it inspires, you know, ingenuity trying to get back, ah, whatever. Alright, so, romance and the code, ooh. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? Oh my my. It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. Ooh, it hurts. I got shut down. I'm gonna bat my ash eyelashes at her completely. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite welcome. I didn't realize you were that old. Them double Ds held up a fantastic for you being that old, I gotta say. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. Oh, okay, okay, so my my donut story doesn't quite make uh, sense then when you think about it like that. Justicar is like the last line that's like calling tech support, you know, the third guy up or whatever. It's like, you know, when things are really bad. Okay, okay, that makes a lot more sense to me now. So if a Justicar is involved, you know, I guess maybe it's a bit more, you know, clear what what the bad is, what the good is, but I don't know. I guess without remorse. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. And a thousand years is a long time to think about it all. Well, I think I'm done with my little conversation here. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. Me too. I, li I really like Samara. She's she's really surprising. I, I don't know. I kind of wish I got her sooner because I really like her. But then I'm like, but I also kind of wish I got Thane sooner. But then, you know, I like all the characters so much. It's like, could I have just had them with me always? Like, I can't believe I'm already toward the end of the game here. I still feel like I've just started. All right, Kasumi, talk at me. I was just thinking about you. Well, I was just thinking about you. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him, too. Oh, okay, my goodness. I can see why Jack is the way she is. I don't like it, but I get it. Me too. I like Kasumi. She's cool. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. I don't know, she's been doing this for 400 years. If I've been working, you know, 40% of my life t at something, I think I'd probably see it through at that point, but... Oh, what is it? What is the hunter without their prey or whatever, right? I don't know. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Alright, well let's see if I can find some more people to harass, then I'll be back. Alrighty, I decided I should probably talk to some of the non-squad members because I haven't checked in with them in quite a while. I don't think I've even talked to the old gal here since we had a bottle of wine that one night. <laughs> 
Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Oh, brandy. Brandy goes straight to my head. It was brandy, not wine. I enjoyed it. I'm just gonna bat my eyelashes seductively at her. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Dr. Chalkwas is going to die. That's usually what that means. Every oh my gosh, Chakwas is going to die. That 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 that's it. I really hope I'm wrong, but that sounds like that that just she's dead now. All right, so I'm gonna go upstairs, and I think I'm going to talk to Kelly. So I'll be back. All right. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. Hmm. Why not both? A lot of women like bad boys. A lot of women like you? Um, maybe on occasion that's not my thing. Back to work. Eh, maybe every now and then. I live a dangerous life. Dangerous men fit right in. I like you more and more each day, Shepard. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? I like you, too. Well, I don't think she's going to say anything too new here. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Nope. That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Alrighty. More people, then. I'll be back. Alright, let's see what Thane has to say. Do you need something? I want to talk about you. Have a few minutes to talk? Very well. I am... I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. <laughs> yeah, really, no kidding. That seems like the pretty much the best uh, way to answer that one. Yes, but I could wait. You've always kept secrets. Eh, I feel like, yeah, no kidding. As a rule, I'm not fond of surprises. I didn't think it would be relevant. I expected to die without speaking to Kolyat again. I knew he'd blame me for Erika's death. Memory I mentioned before. Laser dot trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on a spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erica. That was how I met her. Wow. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. What? Wow, 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 really? I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles, not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. Gosh, that would... Yeah, that, I think that would make me question a few things, too, because I know I pro If I saw someone with the laser scope, I would just do a 180 and just walk the complete other way, be like, I wouldn't, I didn't even see anything, I wasn't even here, don't, don't, please don't shoot me, I'm gone, I'm out of here, don't worry about me. Man, this Erica sounds amazing, so, how was the marriage? So how'd she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. Oh, man, she sounds like such an amazing person. So, uh, this is a hard question to ask, but I have, I gotta, I'm sorry to drag this up, man. I don't have another choice. When you talked to Kolyat, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Oh, no. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar outer colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. Oh, no. You were careless. Go on. Oh, man. You can't say that. This this was his his better, this was his soulmate. She changed his whole life. She gave him, like, reason to live. And you, you can't say, oh, well, you're careless. Well, obviously, Shepard. Gosh, go on. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. 
My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. Ooh, this is like some law-abiding citizen stuff. He had a whole torture kit and everything. Your body did, not your soul. I wouldn't tell your son that. I would have too. Man, if it was someone that like changed my whole life like that, like I, me as a person, I don't think I would because I'm meek and I play video games all day. I, I have no muscle tone. But if it were, if I were a shepherd, yeah, I think I'd have you know ran off in the Normandy and <laughs> maybe done some so let him have some suffering. I don't blame you. They killed innocents to get to you. For you and me, death is business. For people like them, it is sport. I haven't spoken about my wife and I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Oh, I want you faint. Whoa, just focus on your son. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're getting... Okay. So, I... Let me go ahead and just not put that there. So... I can't imagine trying to romance this guy because this wife of his, like, how do you, how do you move on past that? I mean, you know, I'm not someone that's ever had to, um, go through a, a death of, you know, a, a husband or a boyfriend or anything, so I can't imagine what it's like, but for someone that was this profound in his life, like, how do you move on? Especially when you consider the Drell and they have perfect memories, you know, he just thinks about her and he could probably smell her head fringe or something. Okay, that wasn't very romantic, but you get the idea. He can just vividly remember her. How how do you romance this guy? I just I think he's cool, but I I don't see how a romance could ever 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 work. I don't know if I could ever even do one with him, but man, Garrus has got that reach, man. Just focus on your kid. You got kids. You're talking to your son again. That's huge. Don't lose sight of that by dwelling on should-have-beens. You are correct, of course. Thank you for listening, Siha. Siha. I think my translator just glitched. What did you call me? Siha. Someday I'll tell you what it means. What? Tell me now! What the hell? Why would you- why would you do that? I don't know what you just said to me. You called me Siha. I mean, you know, you jumble the letters around. That could be- you called me Shia. Shield. Okay. Do you need something? So I'm assuming he probably has nothing else left to say. Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. Right. I should go. As you will, Siha. Uh, oh, now he just always calls me Siha. I'm guessing that's probably like a dear friend or something like that. Alright, so for my next assignment, I'm going to do this N7 Javelin Missiles launch. This one opened up after the last one that I just did with the Blue Suns. It's a distressed beacon has been detected from a colony on the planet Watson, Skepsis System, Sigurd's Cradle. I'm around this area. Javelin MK2 missiles have been launched from a missile silo on Watson's moon Franklin and were aimed at the colony itself. So I need to go stop the Javelin missile, so I'm going to head over there. I'll see y'all in a second. Alright, I've made it to the Franklin Moon. A large moon, ret Franklin retains a trace atmosphere of carbon dioxide, but its desolate surface holds no signs of water or life. In order to defend uh, the planet Watson from the pirates of the Terminus systems, Franklin is home to two Alliance spaceports and naval bases capable of fielding six fighter squadrons each and a classified number of interplanetary planetary ballistic missiles. Mass effect fields keep the gravity in its installations at a comfortable level for long-term living. So, oops, let's go look for that. Uh... Report to hazard shelters immediately. Report to... Uh... Javelin Mark II missile launch detected. 
Report to hazard shelters immediately. Launch detected. So Report code. to hazard shelters. Something on our sensors. All right. Anomaly detected. Scans detected. Alliance colony defended by a Javelin uh, Mark II uh, missile base. A distress uh, signal indicates that the base is compromised by Batarians who have launched two missiles at the Alliance colony. Total destruction of colony is imminent. Wow, good thing I spent all that time having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Vane, huh? Zero probability of survivors if missiles strike. Yeah, probably shouldn't have had a heart-to-heart -heart with Vane there. And Samara. Find the control panel in the Javelin Mark II, uh, Mark II missile base. Time of impact calculated. Landing party will have five minutes to deactivate the missiles after shuttle touchdown. Oh, great. It's timed. Okay, hold well, I already know I'm gonna probably fail this one at least once. I I don't like being timed. It's like it's like playing old school Mario with the side scroller. It's like I feel like it's like I, I don't feel like I get to look around. I've got to go and I've got to go fast. Um, you know, I really liked. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be I'm fighting more um, more mercenaries, but. Um, I really liked this this group from last time, so I'm gonna take these two again. I feel like this really worked out well. Yeah, it did mention Batarian, so creepy little dudes. Oh, all right, I already have the problem solver on. Let's go ahead and put that Warning. on instead. Warning: two missiles are approaching target. Definitely some fighting here. Def you don't say. Okay, which way I have to go? <laughs> this way. All right, so, oh my gosh, all right, I do not have time for any of this right now, so, oh gosh, what should I even use? Incinerate, incinerate, and, um, eh, how about one of these? Oh, you know what? I should probably just go ahead and use Problem Solver to get this done fast. There we go. Now I can just, oh, I've got to bypass the door. Ooh, that's gonna... I, d I turned my volume up a little bit more in the game. I don't know if uh, this is better or worse. I feel like it's maybe a bit too loud now. I do apologize for the audios. I'll try to, you know, fix it a little bit. All right. Um, did that take away from my time? I hope it didn't. I think it here did. Come. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm going to end up dying at this rate because I'm just running into this stuff, you know, f just full force. Okay, why don't she use... There we go. Oh, I don't think she... There we go. Make contact. All right, we we good. There's still stuff going on. All right, let's. Oh, here we go. Here's a friend. Let's incinerate. There we go. All right. Oh, here we go. This guy's got shields. Let's overload him. And then throw one of these. I like these. And let's. See. There you go. Oh, here, oh, what are you? Oh, that's. Oh, that's. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. All right, uh, I like this, this, the. Oh, oh, I can't. Uh, I was kind of just thinking I could jump down somehow. I'm not really sure what I planned on when I jumped up here. I think I planned on wasting a bunch of time for no reason. No, let me. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. This is this is taking up way too much time. All right, run, 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 run. Okay. All right, run, 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 run. Okay, am I going the right way? Oh my God, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm lost. I, I give up. I quit. I, I, I want to start over. All right, through here, through here. All right, start bypass. All right, boom, boom. All right, nope. Okay, these two, boom, 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 boom. All right. Thankfully, these were all like right next to each other. There's not very many designs. All right, let me through. Let me through. All right, here we go. Batarian. Dude, man with shields, have a have an overload. And, oh, you okay? You just gonna all right? Yeah, there you go. All right, and then um. All right, let's see. Kill switch. All right. Oh gosh, start hack. Um. Uh, gosh, this is the absolute worst. I hate this. Like, this, this, uh, it wasn't it bad at first, but this one alone makes me consider getting, like, a mod for my game where I don't have to do the hacking anymore. Ugh, I don't see it. Is this it? Please be the right one. There is only one remaining kill switch code. Therefore, only one missile can be stopped. What? Use the kill switch code to save your selected target. What? Wait, what? What? 
Spaceport. Okay, Missile 1 targets Spaceport Industrial District. Apply kill switch to protect Alliance interests and tactical viability, albeit at the cost of hundreds of lives in the city. Missile 2, Capital City. Apply kill switch here to save the city and hundreds of lives. With its industrial area destroyed, however, this colony will no longer be viable and have to be evacuated. Well, gosh, buildings and stuff that pre that can always be rebuilt. People's lives can't be. Jeez, this is a an easy choice. Save Capital We've City. We've done it. That's not even a choice, man. I mean, yeah, it's gonna, you know, people are gonna have their lives ruined, but they're still gonna have their lives, and I'd rather have a ruined life than no life. Oh, gosh. Oh! Oh, wow, I, I panicked really hard, and I don't think I... Well, I guess I did have to, because I was timed, but I didn't really get to look around a whole lot. I don't know if there's any goodies or treasures I missed, but, you know, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. If, if there's... Well... Nah, that's not true. I was about to say, most stuff is kind of... Eh. Yeah, okay, alright, I guess there really was nothing. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. Oh. Okay, Shepard, you need to calm down. Prevented Batarian radicals from destroying colony on Franklin. Protected colony residential core. Thousands of lives saved. I... I, I'm totally a hero, yeah, but I figure industrial, you know, I mean, uh, it sucks to lose the industrial district, but, you know, that can always be rebuilt. It can always be rebuilt or something else can come of it. You know, people's lives, you know, they might lose their jobs, their livelihood, but they're still alive, right? And they can go move on to something else. Let's see, do I have a new message? You usually bark at me. Yes, no, maybe. Alright, I'm going to see if I do. No, actually I don't. No follow-up on that one. Alright, um, here, because I, I went and checked out the planet, right, because this is where I just was on Franklin and Watson here. Franklin and Watson, I think Watson here is the planet, so apparently it's just like better Earth or something, despite what it, what it sounds like, but, um, I don't know, I was kind of hoping this would all cha change a little bit, but I guess not. But So this is the planet that lost its industrial era, er, industrial era, industrial zone. That blows. Alrighty guys, well I think I'm going to go ahead and be done with Mass Effect 2. I think I am caught up on everyone's dialogue now. I, I know it. Um, it's supposed to update after after some of uh, s some missions and stuff, so I'm not really sure. I might check around and see if there's more dialogue next time, or maybe I need to go back to Liara's and see more Shadow Broker vids, or, you know, I don't really know. I mean, and I also still have lots of assignments. You know, I know those aren't maybe necessarily the most exciting things to watch, but, you know, maybe I can get the rest of these hammered out in another... Well, not the rest of them. I know one of you guys, or a few of you guys mentioned I should leave a couple of these up after for after this stop the collectors one so not really sure what i'm gonna do next time but i'll do something thank you guys so much for watching me play mass effect 2 i'll do something next time bye for now